Are you taking Praxis Elementary Education Mathematics Test 5003 Algebraic Thinking? If so, then this is the video for you. My name is Tom and I'm a test prep expert here at study.com and I'm going to walk you through some of the types of problems you may see on the test. So let's get started. Simon tells his German friend Johannes that there are 77 Fahrenheit degrees outside today. His friend is not familiar yet with the U.S. system and needs to transform Fahrenheit to Celsius degrees. Johannes is going to use the formula C equals 5 ninths times the quantity F minus 32. How many Celsius degrees does Johannes obtain? So we have the formula Celsius is equal to 5 ninths times the quantity F minus 32. All right, so by order of operations, we're going to substitute in our Fahrenheit, and our Fahrenheit degrees is 77, so we're going to substitute that in for F. So we have C equals 5 ninths, and then we're going to plug in 77. So 77 minus 32, since it's in the grouping symbol parentheses, we're going to do that first. So we get 5 ninths, and then 77 minus 32 is 45. And then if we solve for C here, 5 ninths of 45 would equal 25. So this would be 25 degrees Celsius. And remember, for all these calculations, you will have a four-function calculator available to you on the test if needed. What is the length of the red line in the graph below? All right, so we have the red line highlighted here, which would be the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the length of the legs, and we can see on the triangle that we have an x-coordinate of 1, and then another point with an x-coordinate of 10, so that distance would be 9. And then for the y distance, again, we have y-coordinate of 10 and a y-coordinate of 1, so if we subtract those, we get 9. This picture is not to scale. This is a right triangle, so we're going to use Pythagorean theorem, which would be the legs squared and added together is going to equal the hypotenuse squared. So I'm going to call this side C for the hypotenuse. So I would get 81, 9 squared is 81, is equal to C squared. So when I combine these, and remember now we have access to a four-function calculator, so this would be 162 is equal to C squared. So to solve for C, we're going to take the square root of both sides. So we would get C equals 12.7. Which of the following is equivalent to the algebraic expression? So we have 30 times the quantity x over 10 minus 4 plus 45 times the quantity y over 5 minus 1. All right, so what we want to do in this case here is we want to use the distributive property. So we want to multiply through by 30. So we would get 30x over 10 minus 30 times 4 is 120 plus we're going to multiply through by 45 for the next set of parentheses. So we get 45y over 5 minus 45. Simplifying this, 30x over 10 would be 3x minus 120. 45y over 5 would be 9y. And then we'd have our minus 45. And now we have some like terms here. So the 3x and the 9y are not like terms, but the constants can be combined. So we have negative 120 and negative 45, which would be negative 165. So we would get 3x plus 9y minus 165, which is our second choice. An angle measures 10 degrees more than its complement. What is the measure of the angle? All right, so we're going to set up some variables here. So our choices are 30 degrees, 50 degrees, 40 degrees, or 60 degrees. So I'm going to say, let's let x equal my first angle. So remember, two angles that add up to 90 are considered complementary angles. So my second angle, if it's x's complement, would be 90 minus x. So that would be my second angle. All right, now it says that an angle measures 10 degrees more than its complement. So that means the complement, if we add 10 to that value, that would be equivalent to our first angle. So we can set up an equation x equals 90 minus x, which is the complement, plus 10 degrees. So now what we have to do is we have to solve for x here. 
So if we add x to both sides, we would get 2x equals 90 plus 10. If we combine the 90 and the 10, we get 100. So we get 2x equals 100. If we divide both sides by 2, we're going to get x equals 50 degrees. That concludes our video, Praxis Elementary Education Mathematics Test 5003, with the subtopic Algebraic Thinking. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to visit study.com for more problems like this and access to personalized learning plans. Thanks for watching.